we're back here uh, a day later, and we are going to remove our weight, our sand, our clamps, remove our boards. We're going to check to see that this thing is, is secure to the substrate, and then we're going to work on soldering in our corners and just kind of work on getting this thing finished up here. So I'll remove my sandbags. So now let's begin thinking about soldering these corners up. Now you'll notice that I've created these little pieces here that are going to go in to the back corners back at the backsplash. Alright, these guys are going to slide in here. We have one for the other side as well. They've got to go in. They've got to be soldered in. We have to complete that plate. What we're going to do first though is we're going to work on this corner right here in the front. Now, you can see that I'm working here with an express soldering iron, variable temperature soldering iron. Going to be working with some lead free solder here uh, that I've picked up. Uh, we've got some flux. There's also an express product, same company that makes this iron. Uh, we've got our brush to apply that. We also have a little Scotch Bright pad. Alright, so I've got my iron on. It's pretty hot. Clean that tip off a little bit there. That temperature down a little mm -hmm. bit. All right. So for me, what I want to do is I want to get a little bit of this flux on the end of my brush. Okay. I'm going to get in here and I want to get some flux inside the joint that I'm going to be soldering. Now we talked about that we need another piece of zinc to score back the plastic. So I need to make sure that I score back enough plastic where I can get a good bond between the two areas that I'm going to solder. So I'm just basically scraping back a little bit of plastic so that my solder will stick to the zinc and not to the plastic itself as this lead-free solder tends to want to stick to the plastic at times. Okay, so I'm going to get some good good coverage there. I'll take my hammer, tap this kind of tap this guy tight, get it tightened up there, and then I'm ready to go ahead and solder this joint. Alright, so I'm basically going to start down here at the bottom. And I'm going to solder this joint together. Okay. Basically taking the taking the solder. Close that joint up. The tighter we get the joint, the easier it's going to be to solder. Okay, want to make sure we get a good, decent bead across there. Again, I want to build it up a little bit because when I sand this, I want it to try to come out to a nice true 45 out here on this end. Okay, so I've got that soldered up. And again, I've ground out the uh, 
the areas in which we need to solder this guy. So back in there. Okay. Then I can kind of fold this guy like so. Alright. Again, when we sand this down, it's going to be, uh, you know, it all kind of turns the same color. It's all very natural. So now we've got to get some flux. Flux that guy in. We've got to start getting our solder into that spot. Tighter I can get that that seam, the better off it's going to do. And again, the sanding process is going to really help us get all of this all really tamed down and looking really nice when we get it sanded. Now, we've got a little piece up here at the top, right here, that's got to be soldered as well. Okay. So we're going to scrape back a little of the plastic here. It looks like I've already done a pretty good job of scraping the back up on the top. Okay. That scraped back a little there. That scraped back a little bit there. We want to get a little bit more of our flux on our brush. We want to get some of that down inside the seam. Seam to come over grab our solder and we're going to solder that closed as well. Okay. All right. The soldering has been complete on the corners, backsides, top, corners, backsplash. Now we're going to go at it with a uh, palm sander. All right, I've got some uh, 120 grit paper on here, and I'm just going to simply go around and start to sand off, smooth down these seams. with the 120. Now I would move on to a 220 grit. Smooth corner there. 
there. And then we keep on coming around. Okay, friends, what we've done is we have soldered up and sanded all of our corners on our zinc countertop. We've got everything put in, sanded up, looks really nice, it's ready to go. So at this point, what we'd want to do is we would want to go ahead and start peeling the plastic off of said countertop. Okay? Now, something that we could do to the zinc countertop is we could go ahead and sand uh, with a 220 grit sandpaper all over this countertop to, uh, to bring it out to the sanded spots that have been soldered um, all over. Um, so that is something that a lot of people do with their countertops. They'll go back through here and they'll sand off the top of this, kind of get a little bit of scuffing in it, and, uh, and away you'll go. So again, this is a natural zinc countertop using VM zinc. Uh, metal brake, some tools, various hand tools, express iron, soldering iron, um, lead-free solder, and that is your countertop.